weeps. No matter what comes through that gate, you will stand your ground. Hello. Run! Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing dandy finalish because you smell dandy finalicious and you deserve that. Believe it or not, welcome, and especially you, Aldi. How are you doing, Aldi? You beautiful bean. You're probably fluffy and smell amazing, as well as that new shampoo and conditioner. Oh, it's so soft and cuddly. Anyway, uh, getting distracted today. We're gonna do something we never ever done before on the channel. That is right, furry iril. I don't know what furry or iril stands for. No freaking clue. So let's. Dig into it and do some research together. Hashtag science. Enjoy. And if you enjoy science, subscribe. Homework? No. Fluffy. Homework? Yes. Do you want to do it? No. Fluffy. Do you want to do it? Yes. No, you don't. Fluffy. Okay, I feel. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit rigged. I feel like there's no escaping the cuddles. That's me and it's Aldi Dirk and Holland Shark Mango. Oh my god. I freaked out so hard when I saw this on Twitter. This is the cutest thing ever. I have been noticed by the Dirgy Wurgy. Oh my god, look at that. I am so looking forward to the Mango Land Shark plushie. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna buy probably 50 for myself. I, I swear to God, I'm only making this for myself. If anyone else wants it, it's fine, I guess, but I don't really care. It's, it's fine. <laughs> It's a land shark and it's long. What is this? Like a land shark cat? If God was real, why didn't he make land shark? Checkmate! Crastunes! How to make sushi. First, gently roll the rice, sashimi, seaweed together. And then, you imbecile! You ruined it just like you ruined everything! Look at this sushi, it's just like your life full of mistakes! You always wanted to do this, but you never finished anything. Nobody wants to love you! Yeah, you should try to see me in the kitchen. It's like, the shape doesn't affect the taste. That's like my moral in the kitchen whenever I do anything. Hey, I want to show you a thing I like. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh, God. Maybe I should have shown them a different example of my thing. Oh, they're not giving a reaction. Are you laughing? Laugh. Hot. Ooh, it's a oh, it's sale. Oh, oh, my God, a collar and a leash. I'll take this. Great choice, your dog would love it. What dog? <laughs> oh. Yes, indeed. That's a pickup line. You can do this as a pickup line. It's like, well, I don't have a dog, but I'm looking for someone to leash on. No? <laughs> it's like lead on, but I can lead you on with my lead. No? Yes? <laughs> Does this work? Oh, I have one. Well, color me impressed. Hell yeah. There we go. Dad points down. Oh. What would you do if you were your first owner for a day? Say you hypothetically became your first owner. How much better would your life really be? Uh huh. Stop scrolling. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Grab some water. Then continue. I'm also giving out free hugs for those having a bad day. <laughs> Gonna burn in hell. <laughs> I'm so tired of this. Want more of this? Oh, I want a shark. <gasps> yes. Not a furry, but uh, okay, okay, okay. You know what? You know what? Let's see. let's go to the comments and see how long it takes until I find my name. Okay, let's see. When someone says I'm not a furry but lying to themselves, to click your side. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Took me three and a half seconds. Three and a five. Ah. Uh. What will you play today? <laughs> Look at all the awards you got, oh my god! The online world all of a sudden seems, uh, alternative furries when they see a whole movement against them. Oh no! Anyway... <laughs> I love it! It's such a good attitude. Honestly, that's kind of what I like with a fandom. It's just, like, fun. And people just messing around with cool artwork and memes and stuff. It's just, like, it's just fun! And, like, the carelessness. I love it. Oh, Furries? Although I'm so fluffy, I love being covered with hair. Also furries, ooh, I hate hair. Gross. It's all about the context. It's like a middle ground. The same thing when you try to grow a smexy mustache, for example. You have that middle ground, which just looks weird. And then you have when it starts curling up and you become a musketeer. And it's like, oh! So it's either like no mustache or thick mustache. That middle thing? Nyeh. Stomach. Uh-huh. Oh, please, not here. Mm. I'm so hungry. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I want to feel my belly full. Ah, please. Ah. <laughs> Love it. What a perfect day to go to the... Ah. 
bowling alley. It's Shark Week, baby. I love the one that's laying on the back and just looking up into the sky with the gaping. That's just a, that's a mood. I miss summer. <sighs> well, the good thing in Sweden is that it's only like 10 months left until the next one. Would you rather have feathers, have fur, have scales? The important questions. This is for science. Please respond in the comments below. Thank you. Will you please listen? I'm not a bottom. Here's a bottom. <laughs> oh, Dirty Work, you cannot escape the fate. The little messiah fate. <laughs> How I tell people I found the fandom. Zootopia, Robin Hood, and okay. How I actually found the fandom. VLC E621, Rule 34 for an affinity. Well, at least I'm not on that list, and I appreciate that. For, for once in my life, I'll take that as a compliment. I'm not the one sending... Everyone down to the path of hell, even though a lot of them are. A furry population density in the USA. Very high, high, medium, low. Okay, let's see here. It's kind of spread out, though. I like that. Not so much in the center right there, but a lot of... Okay, okay, I like this. I like this. Is this scientifically accurate? Cool yin fact. I feel like ADHD and anxiety ruined my teenage years, and I missed out on so much social stuff that I had troubles connecting with people out of void of loneliness and slow to consuming me. Haha, <laughs> yay. She cuddly. Men only want one thing, and it's freaking disgusting. What men want? The cuddles and the fluffiness. <laughs> me. Every single one of you. Boop. That is so boopable. Can we please get foxes that look like this and have them as pets and booping? And, like, they really enjoy getting booped. It's just a complete, like, complete, I, I don't know, thing where, where everything is just booped constantly. Oh, with the fluffy baby wub wub. Oh, big squeak. I just a baby. Today, I learned that Violent J's daughter is a furry, and he got a fursuit made for himself so he could go to furry conventions with her. That is so wholesome. Family goals right there, am I right? Heck yeah. You should listen to the podcast Kesha did on him and Kesha and the Creepies. He talks quite a bit about it, and the whole time he was given his thoughts is thoughts on the fandom. And being a furry was like, yes, this motherfucker gets it. There is still link. That sounds amazing. I honestly love that. That's one of the things I love about finding certain niches online, where people are just welcoming, having fun, accepting of people, messing around, and just focus on having a good time. Oh, it's so it's so fun. It's so fun. It really is. So this following meme I sent to uh, to Putat, my respective other. Thanks for not saying oh well, yeah and eh in front of my parents. I know that took restraint. Found you in a meme. <laughs> you can say those things. Yay! Her explanation for why I can say these things is because uh, her, her parents wouldn't understand it anyway. So I can't be judged if you don't speak the same language. Welcome to the We Have Everything restaurant. May I take your order? How do you decide this? Do you take like a favorite dish? Do you take something new you've never tried before? Do you take something really unique that you never can get anywhere else? <laughs> the furry stereotypes. Wolves, they think they are different, but they are the most generic, inflated ego used by most straights. Foxy, femboy. If they're not femboy, they are very boring. Boyfriend of the wolves. Pup, 99% composed of huskies. They also think they're different, but they don't change much about the wolves. Bark, bark, roof. Rat slash possum. Punk rockers, drug addicts, smokers, or alcoholics. Normally, they don't care for the rest of the fandom. Barbs. Always get involved in politics. Strange fetishes. Eggs. Rabiototi. Femboy hooters. Femboy too. Frick like a rabbit, literally. Reptiles and dragons. Like, uh huh. Do strange RPs with strangers. Giant tat has. Fish. Nothing but you only use the fish on during the hyper. Oh, no, so cree. Cat, same personality as wolves, but in felines, and they are fanboys. Fanboy hooters, crazy bish. Is this also scientifically proven? <laughs> when your normie friends start acting a little too oh oh, <gasps> oh no, come closer, embrace cell! Oh my god, guys. <laughs> what did you What did you do? Average fanboy fox. <laughs> Average fanboy fox enjoyer. <laughs> Blue, do you like breasts or thighs? Hmm, personality. KFC just freaking <laughs> Can I get a big bucket of personality, please? I I could really use one. <laughs> alone, pros. Alone, cons. Alone. <laughs> Yay. It's the two sides of the coin. Joke. <laughs> Maybe they didn't hear me. Repeat joke. Yeah, we heard you the first time, you know. <laughs> Why do I feel so attacked by everything in this video? Why? Yeah, so anyway. If furries is for fur and scalies, for scales are sharks smoothies? Yeah. <laughs> and they're also very smooth, if you know what I mean. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, you're looking fantastic today.
Oh, it's a good thing I edit these videos because I was sitting in silence for like 30 seconds trying to think of a pun. So that's not visible when this hits the internets, which will make me seem really smart and witty. I don't get what the deal with macro is, but this is all I've gathered from it so far. <laughs> mass property damage and mass deaths is kind of hot. Wait, no, no repost on the subreddit. Repost. Wee, likes. Wee, up dudes. <sighs> Hello, sir. Uh, is your son at home? Of course, I'll call him. Son, your boyfriend is looking for you. But boyfriend? Ah. Uh. Smooth indeed. How to break the ice between your son's boyfriend and, and, and the father. What? Go ahead, eat your food. Ego thick and fluffy fanboy dragons now with extra naughty juice. <laughs> Belgian style. When do you think products like this are going to be real? Like when are they going to be so popular with the mainstream that it's actually profitable for the companies to print them and not only as meme formats? I would say it won't take that long. Embrace it. And now, for a better future. Hey, girl. I'm a dude, you know. Oh, so some of that makes it better. <laughs> I never get so... Hey, dude. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta play both sides. Mm, yes, indeed. Don't lose out on any opportunities. You miss all the shots you don't take. So take all the shots. Hey, Christopher. Is it all right if you can take care of my kids in your place again? I can pay you if you want. Oh, you don't have to. I'll go ahead and watch over them, Miss Duffy. So fluffy. <laughs> I just want the head pads. It's all about the head pads. Life gets better with head pads. We can draw a curve for this, all right? There we go, all right. So here we go, baby. Uh, science time. So if we just draw a very simple graph here, let me demonstrate this. Welcome to, welcome to Click Academy. So imagine you have a good old graph like this, and then you have like, uh, happy, Happiness, and then you have head pads. It goes like this. There you go. Source, uh, trust me, bro. Dot for the for the attitude. Any questions, class? Didn't think so. Moving on. Me trying to get rid of my yif addiction. Be like. Oh, there is light out here. Oh, no. No, please. No, I was almost free. No, God, no. Oh, would you oh why? White-haired characters are so smexy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes, indeed. Get out. Please give me huggy wuggies. No, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting corrupted by some sort of demon, but I'm all here for it. Furries, other furries. It's dead. What? What? Until, br graph time! Graph time! Gra it's time for graph time for Click Academy. Okay, so back to class. Here, you see? More proof about curve. And then it ends up over here, where there's a lot of happiness, and you, and you, just, and you just show that by making a little emoji very happy. Happy f emoji. Okay, um, so this, I don't know what I'm trying to do anymore. And then look at you. And look at all you've done. And all you have accomplished. Uh, <laughs> it's the broken sushi coming down! No! You're supposed to be proud! At least you tried! You, you tried to cook your own food instead of just grabbing an Uber Eats. You should be proud of yourself. Trying is the first step towards failure. No, trying is to... Failure is the first step towards success. No, but in all reality, wholesome talk, you need to fail a few times to figure out how to do something. Failing is absolutely okay. The old cliche saying of saying something like, you learn from your failures is very true. You need experiences, you need trial and errors to learn things in life. That goes for everyone. If you were to look at anyone you admire who does anything that you look up to, be it music, cooking, content creation, someone who practices a field of science you're interested in, whatever it might be, if you look at their history and you ask them about it, they will have botched so many many projects in their days. You only see the cream of the crop, and that goes for anything. Think of musicians, for example. You often only recognize their top hit songs, but most of the time they have written hundreds, if not thousands of songs. And this goes for everyone. You need practice. Not everything will be a grand slam success, but that doesn't mean you need to quit, and it doesn't mean you have that much to lose if it doesn't work out right away. And it is okay to try and fail, because if you keep trying, eventually you will succeed. And what, what is like, the journey is the purpose or something like that? Not everything has to be a bang or success for you to just enjoy it and do it because it's fun. Uh, so, yeah, failed sushi or Uber Eats or something. <laughs>
The two political parties, Rule 34, E621. Oh no, oh well. It would make the debates quite intriguing. Are you a top or bottom? I am an experience! Just say bottom. What's wrong? Nothing really. Tell me. My, my favorite character in this game has died! <gasps> he didn't make it back home to this family! Oh dear. I, I really am okay, I'm just crying for silly reasons. Crying is good for you. I love these foxes, they are so wholesome and cute. They, like, are the embodiment of relatable couple goals. Ugh. No! No, oh, it's okay, you can have mine. Here. I will die for you. La 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 <laughs> la You might say that they really hooked up. Well, they both look kind of horny. Ha! <laughs> they really fell for each other! Ha 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 ha! So here we have all the tallest buildings, Great Pyramid, we have like the Tapar, we have the Tirsian Tower, we have a little long, long shark, oh my god, it's accurate. I'm talking about a thing. A funny thing to add to the conversation, hey, speaking of the other thing, yeah? Oh, yes, my brain. Yes. You ask Task Manager if she's a cat. Hmm, yes, I am a cat, why did you ask? A pet, 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 pet. <laughs> And that's why you are no longer alive. I'm hungry! Hey Google, what can protogens eat? Protogens are omnivores and can eat both meat and plant matter. Some protogens can also eat RAM and other electronics, which makes them om nom omnivores. Hey Google, <laughs> what does a Google Home taste like? <laughs> okay, this is important, so I need to pay attention. Tap tap, horny. <laughs> Brain! Okay, I'ma fight procrastination. Mm, I'll do it tomorrow. God, I feel this. Does anyone ever sit? Is this just me that you just sit like and you have something to do? And you feel, you're, you're, you're like mentally energy-wise draining as if you were working because you're thinking about the work but you never actually get around to do it. And like, oh, I've been working for six hours today when we're just sitting and procrastinating it for six hours. Yeah, it can't be me. My eight doesn't bother you? No way, you look stunning for a 150. <laughs> Well, it's really on fire. God. <laughs> what do you think this is? A book? Good ice. Why do you think that fox shoved this to you? Dude, just flip it open and find out. <laughs> okay, I'll let you know how it went. Let's <laughs> just see it tomorrow. What? <laughs> oh, God, no! No! This gives me some weird, like, Kashit X Hermaeus Mora from Skyrim vibes, and I'm not really sure how to feel about it. Asexuals. Push. That is so adorable. Why aren't Pokemon real? If you, I, I have watched uh, Pokemon on Netflix, the new series. Uh, it's so cute, and all the colors are like saturated, and it's just such a pleasant universe. Why don't we live in the Pokemon universe instead of like when I was ten years old? I was like, oh my god, practice your freaking math homework, click. I, I could have just gone out like, I'm gonna catch myself a freaking legendary beast. And it's perfectly safe for me as a 10 year old to travel the world alone because it's a beautiful world. Everything is bad and I hate it here. I'm going to burn all of my bridges, get a face tattoo and move to Mars. You're going into the Angie blanket. You'll get out when you are calm again. I am calm, let me destroy things. In five minutes, have you calmed down? Yes, uh, <coughs> thank you, man. Sorry. <laughs> Look, two toasters. Thank you, thank you. It's a great on. Yes, indeed. Reposts are punished. A tiger was waiting at home. Turn anything into a furry oo-woo. Ah, oh, Ugo, he's cooking. <laughs> Angie dominant cooking. It's 926, aka the annual safe for work day. Please keep yourself out from being horny today. Or else, Bonkinator 3000. Oh, dear God. Oh, that was it. Oh, my God. Are we gonna get bonked? Find out next week at this amazing cliffhanger. And I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Wonderful smell and bean. And I'll see you soon. Mwah.